It's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going through my Halloween and Autumn character co sticker collection as well as some more themed um, foil and foil bundles. So <laughs> we're going to go through them hopefully pretty quickly. I'm just going to show you like what's in my collection and go over them. Um, but first I use this planner face album with my little witch design from last year. For my Halloween stickers, I just thought it was perfect and look, you can fit so much stuff in here. And then I use a Simply Gilded large album in like this pumpkin tan um, for my autumn stickers. And I just love how they match. Um, and I have a similar pairing for my winter and Christmas. But I just have so much Halloween and Christmas compared to my other seasonal stuff that it needs a bigger binder, which is what these binders are great for. And then, but I really love using the Simply Gilded albums, especially when I have just less stickers in that grouping. So these come very handy. I just put everything in here and then um, when I'm planning these just stay open and I use these as sort of the first portal call during those seasons. So let's go through the autumn album first. Obviously it's got less stuff in it. So... I'm going to be check, I haven't checked the, how organized they are right now, so we may do some slight organization, but first of all here, I just keep like one sheet in each because they're sort of back to front, which is great, but I have some old Hello Petit Paper coffee cups. I love keeping these around for autumn things. Well, that's what all of these are for. <laughs> We also have some coffee cups that are old from paper milk as well as these old. A lot of this stuff is old. Like, um, I do buy new stuff, but it's hard. I need to do declutters and things to fit new things in because these are pretty much full. So, we have like these, um, autumn mood Mars that she had, which I just love to pepper in for different things. We have these, I think these were a limited edition, but they were like, they're little orange cats in coffee cups. So cute. We have study time full from Hello Pretty Paper and I just love these like papers with the pumpkins on it and the book stacks. So adorable. I just can't get rid of any of my study stickers, I'll be honest. <laughs> then we have autumn lap lap laptops from Paper Shire. I think a lot of these Paper Shire ones are from, most of them are from last year because she had just a great collection come out. They're all a great size and their colors really go with most kits. So then this is a 20 pound order freebie, which is like a bunch of autumn papers, radio books. I was kind of using the uh, books and coffee. I was kind of using these for like reading and stuff and planning. So I, don't know, I think that's fun. This is an older sheet, this is the apple sheet. It's pretty big, so I might replace it, but I have it here for now. Then you have autumn outfits. Just so cute. You never know when you need to mark one of these things. Um, and then you can just mark random stuff, you know. We have Uggs. Um, this store is no longer open, but I love me some Ugg boots. <laughs> I just wore them for the first time this year and I'm so happy. This is an old full bucket list from Once More With Love. This is bucket list 4.0. And I've used quite a few of them actually, but it's nice to have a variety. And they have this full sheet as well. And then these Paper Shire Autumn Fun Vanillas. I love the, um, I think these were, they had umbrellas, I think. But here's some smaller apple stickers here. Um, Autumn Candles. Those are great for like marking home stuff, I feel like. Like that's what um, candle stickers are good for. And then Pumpkin Paper Co. who is closed. Um, but I still have a bunch of these sort of um, resting at home stickers, so I thought I'd keep those. We have Autumn Playlist from Paper Show, and I love how it's like records and mixtape, and I thought I could mark that for when I listen to music in Autumn. 
because I do mark that in my planner like sometimes I just sit around and listen to music <laughs> um, or I watch plan with Muse on mute because I just want to watch the stickers get put down um, which I think is the opposite of literally everyone else who watches plan with Muse <laughs> but I'll just listen to my own music while watching the stickers yeah I don't know then I have autumn cooking such a good sheet from paper show we also have Thanksgiving harvest which I thought I could use for cooking but also for grocery shopping like this little cart with the vegetables sorry it's going in out of focus how about we just put this once the focus is we could put it on manual that kind of works but um yeah I could use these like little cart with the gourds and pumpkins to do grocery shopping we have autumn walks so cute, this would also be grocery shopping because it has a grocery bag. But then there's a button bear and then like the umbrella. Then autumn reading. I've just been breaking this out for my Rings of Power spread. But yeah, I love it. Like I'm not reading like gardening books, but which they kind of look like. But I feel like that is perfect for marking reading in autumn spreads. We got this old orders freebie in case I want like a decorative um, divider as well as these boxes just for some variety as well as this exclusive which has some items at the top here that I might use this is a summer sampler from Joy of Planning but it's autumn stuff so I just have that there this is also great to put samplers in um, I have a 15 pound order freebie here but um, some, I actually use this year round but it's mostly like autumn and winter stuff, so, oh, except for this cleaning <laughs> sticker that I stuck on there. Now, why did I do that? But anyway, there it is. Um, you have autumn food, which obviously I've used up a lot, especially the grocery one. And then this is the new old one from Paper Milk of Pumpkin Season. So cute. Can't wait to dip more into that. But those are these stickers, and then I like to start my foil at the back of the binders so if I want foil I just go right to the back um, so first we have like assorted autumn sheets so I've got some in gold so I have some caress press some simply watercolor colors some of this is ancient <laughs> caress press headers some pumpkin date dots and seed stickers and some more old caress press so that's kind of the stuff that I put in here, like the leaf and pumpkin designs. Um, we have the same for silver. I also have this page of leftover, um, I had these leftover pages from a leaves bundle from SPC, so I decided just to keep them in here so I can pull them in, because you got the headers and full boxes there. And then I have the same in hollow. And then I have some foil bundles. So first I have these burnt orange leaves, which came out last year from SPC. And I actually found one from, um, uh, this is the last July mystery is where these are from. And I still had it in the July mystery <laughs> cello in my kit collection. And I just used it for the flashback spread that you would have seen last week if you're watching um, this on time and I decided to take this out and use different foil because I thought I should save this and it came with the mat um, so I have two extras that I bought from the shop and the one from that mystery kit so I can use that whenever and then we also have a gold pumpkin spice bundle from caress press I have hollow ones, a rose one, and silver one. And then I have a silver leaves bundle and a gold leaves bundle. So I just put all my leaf and pumpkin spice bundles in here because they really go with this season. And I make sure to check these when I go through my autumn spread, like a kid lineup. But that is the autumn binder. Next is the big boy Halloween stuff. <laughs> so let's get straight into it. The first pocket here are all of my Halloween movie scripts. And I did have these all like separated out, but um, 
I needed more space for more icon, the like character stickers, so I should really like rearrange these. So you have like um, Scribble Prince Co. and Silver, some old letters to Apollo and newer ones. Um, those are in black, which is nice to have. There's some more silver ones. These are ones that I made myself um, when I had the ability to make stickers. So. <laughs> I keep these because why not? I think they're perfect because I made them for myself. Then I have the same in gold and then in hollow, which I don't think I ever had hollow uh, for my own stickers. So let's just put them in an order here and put black at the front. So when I go to watch a Halloween movie that might have a sticker, just go through that bundle. Now I do double these up even though they're in the same sleeve so uh, we have some newer stuff so see sweet Ava's paper I don't think you would have seen these yet because the hole is probably gonna go up next week <laughs> but I recently got these these little Halloween planning snowballs then I have like a ghost mug and bat mugs and we've got um, might take manual focus off so I apologize if it goes in and out of focus. Then we got these like bat iced coffees, bat sticker sheets, bat laundry. And then we have some little freebies here just to pick from if I need a different sticker. We have Halloween costumes. Oh, these are my favorite from Once More Love of the Moment, the Halloween mugs. They're just so cute and perfect. I can't wait to use more. Then Bear Necessities sticker co is closed, but I loved these little cat and bat. Um, it's like a Keurig machine, but I'm just gonna like pretend it's a coffee machine that I don't use one of those. Then we have the Halloween coffees from Hello Petite Paper. She has one for every season, it's great. We have these Lesson Misfit little frappe cats and another, it's like a ghost coffee machine from Bear Necessities. My favorite art stickers, I have one in here, but I actually keep them year round in my art section. But um, maybe if I get some more characters, I can take this one out. Maybe I'll just take it out now. There's a couple in here, actually. I'm going to take these out now, and then I have like a bare spot for new stickers. Because <laughs> um, I, I mostly use these white uh, iPads year round. We have Halloween pens from Stick With The Plan Cove. I can't wait to bring these in. I got these at the end of Halloween last year and I'm just like, I'm so excited to use them. They look so cool. We have Halloween Yums from Paper Shy. Again, I got it too late last year, so. Um, we have Willow Wallow Co, which I haven't, these are like three years old or four years old, but little ghost paydays. Um, Spooky Planet Girls from Fox and Cactus. Uh, Halloween planning time, Hello Petite Paper. We have little printers from Less Than Misfit. These are pretty big though, so I might just stash these. But again, we're making room for a couple more stickers here. We have these really cute, um, the pen stacks from Bear Necessities, but it's got like the um, NBC pot there, which little sneak peek of, I don't know if it'll be out yet, it might be out by the time you see this video, <laughs> of my new Christmas set, which is Cre Seasons Creepings. And there's a lot of NBC stuff in there. We have like spooky cat reading books and also spooky girl reading books. We have spooky um, <laughs> uh, switches and then these, um, you can use these as checklists even, but uh, I just never pulled for these, so I'm going to take these out as well. We're making space for new stuff, you guys. Exciting. Halloween reading from Paper Shy. I just love these. They're so cool. And this, this ghost one, if you cut it in the middle, you can make two stickers. And like, yeah, I love it. These big Halloween desks. I probably don't have a use for these, but I can't get rid of them just yet. <laughs> More spooky switches. These Halloween mugs. I can't wait to use these either. I think I got them at the end of the season last year. Spooky girls on a laptop from Fox and Cactus. Halloween movies from Papershire. Um, 
where we got the laptop and popcorn, so watching stuff on the laptop. We got some once more of the pastel deco, which went perfectly with my little witch art last year, so I used a lot of it. Um, we have like movie ghosts from Fox and Characters as well as cat zombies and little ghost cats, so cute. Then these are some ancient um, SPC geologies that ghosts. More ghosts, emoji heads with pumpkins. Same with SPC Ancient Two Dollar Tuesday. I love these Halloween costumes from What's With Love. I kind of just want a whole page of vampires because I just watch so much vampire stuff every year, like What We Do in the Shadows and Drac Bram Stoker's Dracula is one of my favorite movies. So we have like this girl, like little witchy girl flipping off, <laughs> flipping the bird. Some Dago from SPC that she tried out one year. These Halloween flat lays, like I have no use for them, but they're too pretty to get rid of. And I did use two of these and I put Happy Halloween in both of them um, those years. So I think that turns out really cute. Halloween emojis, again, new. We have some stuff from SPC and for her uh, doodles. Once more, love, um, you rang the Adams Family stuff, much needed. These are a couple of sheets of the Hocus Pocus ones. And we also have, what's this, the NBC stuff. And just horror movie characters, which are fun to use. I just need all ghost, uh, ghost faces too. <laughs> then we have ancient scribblers. Uh, I just get them for their costumes. Again, vampire. Oh, I can't wait to use these Halloween work. Look how cute that is. Oh my god, so many stickers from last year I never got to use. Halloween candy. This would be great for groceries during Halloween. I'm going to ancient symptoms um, and Disney stickers that I made myself so long ago. <laughs> then we have just Halloween night. And I love these characters. They're so cute. Then we have some Halloween girls from Fox and Cactus, Haunted Mansion from Once Were Love, these ghost balloons, Bane Necessities Co., some old Halloween from 100 Million, oh, the, the spooky burgers from Fox and Cactus, just perfect. Like, I love the seasonable, seasonal replacements for things, so my spreads will be like extra themed. More spooky girls from Fox and Cactus. Uh, Halloween deco, but not pastel from Once More Love. Balloons from Less Misfit. These cute cat shoes from, uh, I'm gonna miss Bear Necessities so much. Like, uh, I didn't even realize they were closing and like the Instagram and the website's all gone, deleted. So I'm, I'm so sad. <laughs> we have uh, old Yummy Halloween. So these are pretty big, but I love the new ones. These are Halloween outfits from Pumpkin Paper Co. Also closed, but I wanted to keep those little um, nail polishes. And we have some SBC doodles. We have some bat phones. Outfits from Bear Necessities. Back to doodles. We have like witch doodles, um, like pens, party stuff, drinks, more party like cake stuff, planners. Uh, mailers, coffee cups, then I got a bunch of some squidge things from um, Stick With The Planko. This is so cute. I love this one here with the balloon. I saw Abby Lives Well use the one with the balloon and that made me go and buy it last year. <laughs> so I can't wait to use it this year. We have like scary movies from Paper Shire. Um, like spooky laptops from Stick of the Plank, a Halloween playlist, so like the autumn one we can mark listening to music in Halloween time. Uh, these are really cute. Oh, all the different Halloween squidges. <laughs> we have Adam's family from Paper Shire. She doesn't sell her pop culture stuff anymore, but she does have them as free downloads on her Facebook. I was lucky enough to snag these when she was selling them. Riddle Juice, Treehouse of Horror, which I love, Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror, Casper, Scooby Doo, Haunted Magic, Practical Magic. <laughs> then 
Then we have um, Cash Spirits, like uh, was he no face? Emoji goes, late night goes, like crying because you're working late. I get that. Little cats with knives, threatening cat. It's too funny. These spooky journals from Fox and Cactus are really fun, but you could also use these for platters or books. Spooky movie girls, spooky cooking girls, great for like cooking. Um, this is like Beetlejuice cat with this is fine instead of like fire. Um, you have bubble booble tea goes so cute. They're bubble teas, which I have one right now. Oh. I love these spooky milkshakes. I think they'd be great for Coffee Monday too. Or like Starbucks rounds or whatever. And then I put the freebie in that I got that month as well. Then we have the new ghost cats. Because she redid the sheet. And that is all my Halloween characters. So we have a little room to wiggle with. But at the back we have all of my <laughs> foil. Which is a lot. Um... So first of all, my gold and my silver and hollow are pretty much the same, but we got like sticky essentials who I, her shop is open, but she hasn't updated in a long time. So buy to her own peril, to be honest, unless she's posted since uh, before this. So I don't know, um, but she hasn't recently. So I don't know what's going on with her shop, but she has like these, um, whole protectors in spider web, um, we have like all this fun stuff I got last year. I love these coffins. And then we have the spooky stuff from SPC that she released this year. Sorry it's all kind of mixed up. This is old Sadie stickers. I don't know if she does stickers like this anymore. We got some freebies from SPC. Some new stuff from Planet Choco. These really fun quotes. Old Sadie stickers again. Some letters to Apollo. More of these freebies, Planet Sugar Hole covers, and then all this Halloween stuff from SPC that she brought out this year. We had some candy date numbers from C stickers, um, some drips and bad stuff and happy stickers designs. She had some spooky stuff, simply watercolor co. Old SPC quotes. So many drips and pumpkins and bats and candies and spider webs. I love it. And I love these bits from Simply Watercolor Co. These are like five, four years old, but I love them still. So I basically have the same kind of stuff in each group, and I always get gold, silver, and hollow for my, as well as sparkly hollow for my Halloween stuff. And then this is like my random. So I have a lime and a red drips from Sticky Essentials as well as a rose collection from SPC. Um, I don't, I do have a Halloween foil bundle from Maggie from last year but I keep them in my normal foil, foil collection which I will be filming sooner or later so I think it'll be for Planmas. So I won't get into that here but that is everything from my autumn and Halloween stickers and how I keep them organized. Uh, where I get them from and some uses of them too. So I hope this was helpful for you if you're considering com compartmentalizing your collection this way. I just think it's great because when I set up to plan for the week I can just grab the one thing and I go I hit it up first and then I got all my seasonal stuff in my planner like I wanted to but that is everything. For this video, if you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I love you. Bye.